hello hello everyone as you can see it's miss brown welcome back to our youtube channel i hope you guys are enjoying today it's beautiful it's windy but it's beautiful outside we're gonna jump right into a lesson with miss kristen i hope you guys enjoy please stay tuned hey guys today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics and that's cooking well we're going to be grilling today so um yeah we're going to be grilling i'm doing it I'm grilling the healthy way, so this is going to be a little bit of uh, health and wellness. We're going to talk about some obesity prevention, and we're going to also have fun with it. So, cooking is, like I said, one of my favorite things to do. I love different tastes of food, different textures, but I also love being healthy too. So, that's a little difficult sometimes if you want things to taste good and you want it to be good for you too. So, I'm going to show you guys a few tricks today. We're grilling. I have um, some a few things on the grill. We have some veggie burgers, and I use Morningstar grillers for the veggie burgers. Those are actually pretty good. They taste similar to meat. I'm not a vegetarian, but I don't like eating meat too much because it can get really unhealthy for you. So it's not that I don't like the taste of meat. I love the taste of meat, but it's not too good for you. So I try to cut back as often as possible. Um, and then I have some white life. These are smart dogs. They're plant-based hot dogs. So we have some vegetarian hot dogs. We have some vegetarian burgers. And as you can see, they're getting a really nice um, grill. The grill marks on them. I love the grill marks when they're like slightly burnt just a little bit. It makes it taste that much better to me. So aside from that, we have some pineapples. I don't remember where I heard that pineapples, if you put a little bit of Himalayan sea salt on pineapples, then it makes them sweeter, but I tried it and it really does work. Grilled pineapples are delicious. It's like the best type of dessert ever. So I got some grilled pineapples. I also have some squash in here. I don't know if you guys can see the squash, but we got some grilled squash that I've seasoned. Squash has a lot of great benefits, health benefits. And then the seasonings that I used are very healthy also. So we have, like I said, we have the Himalayan pink sea salt. That's, this is like my go-to for a lot of different things. You can use this for salt scrubs for your body and face. You can use it to season your food with. Um, I also have a pink Himalayan sea salt lamp, which is a very pretty light. I seasoned the pineapples also with a little bit of ginger, ground ginger. And we talked about the health benefits of ground ginger in another video, but uh, just so you guys know, at the end of this video, I'm gonna do a slideshow and it's gonna have all the health benefits of the things that I'm using to cook with and my resources where I got the information from. I used some sage for the squash. I also used turmeric to season the squash with. Turmeric is awesome, it's got a lot of great health benefits. Again, if you watch to the end of the video, you'll see the slideshow. And I use some basil leaves to season the squash. So for the squash, I use the pink salt, turmeric, some basil, um, sage, and then for the pineapples, I use the pink salt and a little bit of ginger. I didn't really season the burgers or the, um, the hot dogs but I am gonna put some vegan cheese on the burgers so give me one second for that I'll be right back all right guys so I'm back with my vegan cheese this is um chow slices and it's garden herb with black pepper I like this cheese it's um like I said it's vegan so it's non-dairy we're still sticking on the healthy kick and it's actually it actually melts like cheese does so um that's why i like using it one of the reasons i like using it and it's very flavorful it's flavored very well so just gonna put a slice on each one and this is actually really che this cheese when it melts it's very cheesy so i think i'm gonna do a half slice instead of an entire slice
I'm cooking for myself and my children, so um, I have washed my hands. But if you're cooking for other people, then you're gonna wanna wear gloves, probably. <laughs> That's a good idea. And I'm super excited. You guys are on my journey with me using my grill for the very first time. This is the first time I've ever cooked out with a grill, especially a pellet grill. I've used a charcoal grill before, but this is slightly different. It uses wood pellets to cook, so it's supposed to be a little bit healthier than using the charcoal. So hopefully it'll come out well. Um, looks like everything is almost pretty much ready to come off. Look at that, those grill lines on the pineapple. That looks delicious. I'm excited. This is an entirely healthy, vegan, completely vegan grilled meal. So, and I have to make my stuff taste good because my children, if I don't, they're like, uh, yeah, I'm not eating it. So, <laughs> kids are pretty big critics when it comes to eating. So, gotta make sure the food tastes good and it's still healthy for them so that's a huge task but we get it done all right so again watch till the end of the video I'm gonna do a slideshow and it's gonna show you all the health benefits of everything that I just used to cook with all right guys
Hi everyone, Ms. Tisha here today for edutainment, which is education and entertainment. I'm going to show you guys a cool little website that you guys can use to create a poem if you're having some trouble. For our poetry party, which happens to be this Wednesday. So this website here is called readwritethink.org. Simple enough. I will put this link in the description section so you guys can go on it and do it yourself. So right here, all you need is Adobe Flash Player. So I'm going to hit get started. All right, so I'm going to put in my name and you can also see the nickname. It's going to put Miss for right now. Poem title, it's a little cloudy today, so I'm going to use cloudy. What will be the name of my poem. Uh, beginning topic, um, let's just say gray will be my beginning topic. And then the end will be about the clouds. And it says Diamondette Poems is the name of this game. So you can open a previous poem if you have done one before. You can also save it. There's your title right there. All right, so the big, it says write your poem. Line one, the beginning topic is gray. All right, so line two, two adjectives about gray. So an adjective is a word or phrase naming an attribute added to or grammatically related to a noun to modify or describe it. So one way that you would describe gray is dark. Let's see, I will look up another one. So feel free to do that as well. Hmm. Colorless, that's a good one. Three ing words, so that's words ending in i n e g. So you have like run, and you have running. So i n g words about gray. Hmm. Raining. Good. When we look up, most of the time it's a nice. Gray sky when it's raining. Sleeping. That's something we like to do when it's gray outside. And how about we just put dusting? When we dust, we see gray dust. Four nouns or short phrases linking your topics or topic. So nouns are person, place, thing. So let's see, gray. A place that's gray. Um, building. Or actually, let's just use a short phrase. And then you can also read back your poem and see if it <laughs> makes sense or is it something you would like to say. So you have gray, dark, colorless, raining, sleeping, dusting. Please go away. Three ing words about clouds, flooding, thundering, lightning. Two adjectives about clouds, big, round, <laughs> clouds. All right, let's see. And I put it in a nice diamond there. Of course, you can, if you know how to edit photos, you can edit it. You can save this picture. You can put it in something else, edit it, add some pictures, put in a Word document, put pictures around it. There's so many different possibilities. So I'll read my poem. Gray, dark, colorless, raining, sleeping, dusting, please go away, flooding, thundering, lightning, big round clouds. <laughs> All right, I'm actually going to create another one, too, so I can save that if I want to. Open it up. You can save it as a draft, save it as a final, send it to someone, and you can also print it. That way, it's easier for you to read for our poetry party. I'm going to hit restart. I actually don't want to save it. Then at the bottom, it'll put it's by you, and then, of course, your poem title at the top. Poetry will be the name of this poem. Beginning topic words. 
ending topic expression All right, I'll hit finish. I'm going to read my poem. Words, powerful, useful, using, describing, needing. Be careful how you use them. Expressing, feeling, deserving. Helpful, important expression. <laughs> so as you can see, depending on what you pick, it can be challenging. Uh, you can also use people around you and devices to look up things to help you create your poem so this is just one way if you're not poetry savvy like me it kind of just comes to me so we'll see what i have to offer i'm actually going to look at some old stuff i used to write back when i was in high school that's when i feel like most expressive word wise but again if you need the additional help check out this website it's on read write and think.org diamondette poems Hope you guys enjoy it and we can't wait to see you at the poetry party.